Hello YouTube, welcome to um, Sunday evening, it's about 10 to 8 and I'm just getting out of bed and getting dressed, look I'm actually dressed, this is a t-shirt not pyjamas, promise, promise, look, promise, promise, oh should, should you think, promise or no, anyway, anywho, I want to show you something really really funny, okay, you ready, watch, tell me if you can tell the difference. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's something missing. What the actual fuck, Dory? These are the only pair of glasses I have right now. I have two pairs that are like this where one arm's come off completely that was stuck together with tape. For those in the UK, think Coronation Street, Jack Duck, where I've got hair on my eye now, I hate that. <sighs> it's stuck in my eyelashes, is that flipping long? I mean, my eyelashes are long because my hair gets stuck in it. Um, so yeah, I think Jack Duck with his tape, and, and then I dropped them on the, na the other night and it came out, so... <laughs> And the other ones were super glued together. And when I dropped those, they did the same thing. And so I, I'm currently um, wearing magic spectacles. <laughs> and I just can't be asked to go to Vision Express and just go, they'll do. But I know I've got to because I feel a bit of a twat walking around with ease on. And obviously it wouldn't go out in public, I'd stick my contact lenses in, but oh my god, how funny is this? Seriously. And my other pair, wait, I'll, I'll get them. Bear with. I feel like Miranda keeps saying, bear with. Bear with. Right, oh no, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Can you, can you see how bent, hang on, that's better. Can you see how bent this, this arm is? Right, so what happened was... <laughs> Let me put them on. <laughs> oh, oh, gone dizzy now. <laughs> so this pair accidentally got set on. Yeah, and I can, I can kind of make them work, but I, if I do, I have to like hold them and then look. You see, as soon as I do, they just go fuck off. I can't win, I can't win, I can't see. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so broken, aren't I? I really am. I've decided I'm totally broken, so yes. Tonight, Matthew, on Stars in Your Eyes, I'll be doing an impression of somebody completely bonkers. There you go. Look at that for a transformation. Voila! Oh, so how's your day been? I don't It's like, like I said, it's late here. I've heard... Little feet coming in and out. Had the odd little kiss on my head, which is nice. Like, mm, Nemo. Um, but yeah, my body's rebelling against me massively at the minute. I found out that the heat doesn't help people with fibromyalgia either. Gee, thanks for that. Mm -hmm. um, because you get more tired. Because you've got, your body naturally has to work harder when it is hotter. Obviously, you, you use up your electrolytes a lot quicker. So, even though I have got this, let me show you, big bottle, right? In here, there are 750 millilitres of water. And I topped that up this morning. I went and topped it up. And that's what I've drank sort of through my, through my sleep and my body not, not playing game today. Playing ball today, I should say. So, yeah. Um, but Mr. Dory's been out in the garden trying to sort the pond out. I had a bit of pond weed and uh, pond mint for those who are ponders. Is that the right word? <laughs> we'll call them ponders. Um, and it's got, it got to the point where it was like my OCD, like with the, the fucking spider den. It, re it was really pissing me off that I couldn't see the water because I'm so drawn to water and nature and outside. I love... I could sit and just 
like driving through Wales, we're so lucky where we are. We are 10 minutes either side of the end of this road of open country, rolling hills, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, when the rape seeds in and it's all yellow, oh my God, against the bright green that the farmers plant, it's just one day I will take you in the car and I will show you. I won't be driving, obviously. Duh. Because <laughs> I can't do two things at once. I can, but but that, not that. Mm -mm. I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Plod might have a chat with me from my like, filming out the window. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's a bit crazy, uh, but it's it's just so beautiful, the contrast between the two colours, and then you've got the hills in the background, and oh, it's just stunning, it's, well, we're so lucky, we're about an hour away from, from water, I think, an hour and a bit, maybe, actually, we're only about an hour and twenty away from Anglesey, so that'll do for me, oh, dinner bell's ringing, did you hear that, dinner, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dory, dinner, so we're in steak tonight, um, and we're going, oh, I need to wash my hair. <gasps> Look at it. It's all, I know it's still shiny. It's shiny, isn't it? Ooh, glossy. But just, you know, you just feel like you need to wash your hair. I feel like that can't be arsed. I'm not doing it tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. And I've got to go and sort my new car out tomorrow as well. and do all the paperwork. The poor man probably thinks I've dumped him. I haven't. I just haven't, I just haven't been well enough. And you can hear my voice as well. Suffering. Um... I can't remember what it is that's wrong with my voice. There's, there's two things. There's over, over, overdeveloped, overdeveloped voice box. Lara, Lara. Sarah B, if you watch this, for God's sake, please put it down there, what it, what it is called. La Larynx, Larynx, or anyone else. You know, your voice box, the actual thing. And then the muscles. God, that's how old, that's how you know how old I am. Look at my neck, it's really starting to go crepey. So you can tell I'm like 42. <gasps> oh my God. I'm still stretching it out at night. <laughs> like I give a shit. No, not really. Um, yeah, that's overdeveloped and the muscles, the ligaments and, and cords around it are inflamed. So I've got to have, like Nemo, intensive speech therapy to get this husky nurse to go away. But... I quite like it. I prefer my voice like this. And people who I've met, they go, oh, you've got a bit husky in your old age. I'm like, drop the old. Cheeky punker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So that was my Sunday. Spent here. <laughs> Flat out. Yeah, I had a bad night last night. You know, you guys hopefully will have seen the, um, the CPAP machine. I got myself all worked up into a right tizzy. And then I had to calm down for a bit, and then I managed to get some sleep. But I had Nemo with me again. Um, he woke up at ten to six. Yay! Ten to six, and it's time to wake up. No, it's not. Go to sleep. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh. He went, what time is it, Mum Bear? I went, let me look. Looks like that. On my phone, it says zero five fifty one. So he says, what does that mean? I went. It's too early. <laughs> Just it's too early. Go back to sleep, little boy. And he did for a good hour and a bit, so that's okay. And I just taken some Oromorph for all of you who are worried about me and my drug addiction. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know who you are. One in particular. But yeah. Um I've just had to take some more and more because my patches are wearing off now. They're due to be changed tomorrow. But because they're wearing off, hello, Mr. George, you need me. I'm coming down. I'm just finishing this. I'm coming down. Dinner. Dinner, 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 Batman. So, yes. Um, but because these patches are wearing off now, they're due to be changed in the morning, I can tell. And um, my back has been giving me jip all day and especially on the right hand side where my hip is i can't wait to get these results i swear to god if they say there is nothing wrong with my right hip you will see it from where you live there will be a mushroom shaped cloud above shropshire where i go that's fucking bullshit because 
how what oh my god look at the state of these look at them can you just see how just super bent they are there <laughs> there they're like more of a wise gimmick glasses or something terrible just come over there um but yeah if they if they if it comes back and says no we've done the x-rays we can't see anything i'm going to demand an mri because this has been going on for too long now and i can't cope i can't live day to day with the pain even the oromorph is only taking the edge off. Whereas before, it was genuinely gone. Now it's not. Such is life. Anyway, i better go because it's that dinner bell time. Much love from me to you. Jake Jonas. Mate, ugh, I've watched your vlog now three times. And every time, it breaks my heart. But I just want to say to you, don't, don't delete it. I've, I've even put it on the comments. Don't delete that video, please don't, because like I said in the comment, somebody out there might watch it and you could save a life again. You, you could save a life, okay? You really could, you know your shit, you could do it. And if someone's brave enough to reach out to you and say, yes, please, then do it. Okay, buddy, I love you so much. I do genuinely care about you. Negs, not sure what you're doing in a motel, are you on holiday? We will find out. Everyone else, Sarah B, everyone else who follows me, Becca James, I could be here for hours. Thank you very much for all your support and loving you guys. James Cox, I'm coming over to you right now. Bye, guys.